Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the original created character Lom Saber, the Otaku Cowboy, coming back with another video and we're going to talk about horror movies. One of my favorite subjects in the world, um, horror movies. Um, I've seen a shit ton of horror movies in my year in my years. Uh, some good, some bad, some ridiculously <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to talk about horror movies. We're going to talk about horror movies and we're going to talk about, uh, some of my, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite horror movies like, uh, Friday the 13th, uh, Jaws, uh, What's funny is Jaws is one of my favorite horror movies of all time and I've only seen it three times in my life. Uh, it's been years since I've seen it. I probably should watch I probably should watch it again for shits and giggles. Uh, John Williams' score on the uh Damn, that hurt. That must have hurt. <laughs> uh, John Williams' uh, score on the uh, on the movie must it was is a, is, a, is amazing. So, where's that bear? Ow, that fucking hurt. Another favorite horror movie of mine is uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, big fan of Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, I've seen every Friday the Thirteenth movie, including the remake, uh, at least once. Uh, I've only seen the remake a couple times. Uh, I never really watched. Never really cared for. Okay. Uh, I can't help but think of the memories you could have had here. Um. Yeah. Um. I've seen. If you don't include the re, if you don't include the remake, uh, or the reboot, whatever the hell you want to call it, uh, I've seen every Friday the Thirteenth film at least five times, at least five times um, I'm s such a huge fan of Friday the 13th that I have a box set signed by just about every person that played Jason in the series uh, of course I'm missing a couple autographs uh, some autographs that I'm missing are not really uh, important but, uh... Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. That's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Not only that, but your data collection and analysis must be top-notch. I'm sure these crops want for nothing. Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant cooperation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition. Problems. 
processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Obviously the man was brilliant to come up with something like this. I could hardly have said it better myself, darling. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's cups you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? I'm with the Minutemen. Did you need help with something? Why, yes. That's what I was getting at, dear. The water. It's simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. What it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. If you Minutemen can lend us a hand, I'll be eternally grateful. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. Must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Okay. Uh, we're gonna pause for station identification. I'll be back in two shakes. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> um, in terms of horror, actually, one of my favorite genres is the Galio movies. Uh, I, I'm probably butchering that word <laughs> because it's an Italian word, really. I mean, stuff like uh, stuff like uh, Hatchet for the Honeymoon, you know. Directors like Mario Bava, uh, directors like uh, Dario Argento, uh, Lucio Fulci, uh, you know, uh, people like those, people like that, you know, a lot of Italian horror directors, uh, Lamberto Bava, uh, Movies like Demons or Demoni, uh, Hatchet for the, like I said, Hatchet for the Honeymoon, uh, Bay of Blood, uh, uh, Don't Torture, a Don't Torture a Duckling, uh, just to me, 1970. To me, 1970s horror is simply the best. Motherfucker.
but yeah, you know, I'm, I've always been a huge fan of, uh, been a huge fan of horror, especially like, like I said, the 19th. Whether it's uh, 1970s uh, Galio films or uh, Jesus Christ, this fucking plasma gun is bullshit. Switched my ion cannon. But yeah, I'm fond. I'm fond. I'm fond of the 1960s, 1970s Galio films. Uh, big fan of uh, the 19. Big fan of uh, 1980s slasher films like Friday the Thirteenth, or uh, you know, going to the 70s with Halloween or. Uh, and. Uh, you know, things, things like that. Uh, things of that nature. Uh, oh, that's right. I leveled up. Uh, level 16. I take Rifleman rank 2. Okay. Okay. So... Fences. I'm trying to think of uh, a decent w recent. Uh, I'm trying to think of a decent uh, recent horror movie that was actually. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't really see that many recent horror movies. I really don't find. Uh, I really don't really I really don't care about you know recent horror movies I mean I mean sure uh, I've heard decent things about Terrifier and Terrifier 2 Might watch them uh, during on my on one of my movies day on my movie day. I'll probably watch them on my movie day.
Why are you running? Why are you running? Stop running. Come back here. I will say that even though I dislike reboots and remakes, uh, I will say that the recent reboot of Hellraiser was actually pretty decent. I found the story was actually, I mean, even though the story was kind of slow and plotting, uh, it was actually a pretty decent movie. Compared to other Hellraiser movies, of course. Definitely compared to other Hellraiser movies, it was actually, it was better. It was good.
a gentleman, too. I simply must give you something. Here, you can have some of our produce. I'll ask Greeny to give you a discount, too, if there's anything else you need. Now I simply must get back to work. Ta-ta! Oh well, uh, God, I don't know what to fucking talk about. I mean, this is fucking boring. I guess I'll end it here. Uh, I guess I'll end it here, you know. Mm, yeah, why don't you name some horror movies that you like? Uh, so, this is the original credit character, Lom Saber, the Otaku Cowboy, saying goodbye. And. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>